It's more than just a state-of-the-art camera surveillance system. District 6 safety groups say CCTV cameras will also boost investment in their historic neighborhood. Residents have been saving up for years now for this, and now thanks to the generosity of a film company, they've got it. ENC's Monique Motlock reports. District 6 has, in recent years, been plagued by increasing petty crimes like theft. The one solution safety groups could think of was CCTV cameras, which they could monitor 24-7 from anywhere. But this expensive venture was out of the question until a production company started filming in the neighborhood. And then they came to me and I thought, OK, I'm going to ask them about what can you do for the community. And the camera situation came up, Monique. And, um, Ross, Film Africa, with Abdurrahman Arnold, sat in the house and we laid out our whatever is needed in the, in the community. The cameras cover a wide expanse of District 6 and surrounding areas. It's the boost in safety and security that residents, many of them elderly, have been looking for. Not only can you actually have preventative measures in detecting these people coming because the, the analytics can actually detect movement and alert people, somebody's in the area or there's movement at a specific time, but it can also be evidentiary. So if something happens, the, <clears throat> the likelihood of you actually finding that person uh, on camera is good. Safety groups are also hoping the improvement in security will lead to more film crews using District 6 as a backdrop, boosting investment in the area. The film industry really contributes to the uh, South African and actually the Cape Town economy in a considerable way. And this is just another example of how the, the film industry is, is, is really benefiting communities. Not only, obviously, I think in, in often they have skills programs or they work with local service providers, but now also providing uh, safety to the community. The Upper District 6 Neighbourhood Watch intends on expanding the surveillance system and sharing it with police and local safety groups. Monique Mortlock, Cape Town.